WhatsApp. I'm Jopal Street. The super quick guide is going to show you everything you need to know about modding your own high sale dedicated server. Whether you're hosting one yourself for free on your own computer or using a third party platform, this video is going to show you everything you need to know and so much more. So without further ado, let's get straight into modding your high sale server. But before we do, this video was sponsored by Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a fantastic Minecraft or high sale server host, look no further. Apex Hosting is a fantastic choice with powerful servers, fantastic customer support, automated backups, unlimited slots, and so much more. You literally can't go wrong. Simply head across to the first link in the description down below and check the very top of the screen for the current coupon code. Right now it's Apex 25 for 25% off your first order. Simply choose Get Your Server and from the drop down, select Minecraft, Java, Bedrock, High Sale, or any other game for that matter. Configure your server and make sure you've got a coupon code set. In no time, you'll have your own powerful high sale server set up for you and your friends to play on. A huge shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. So to start off at the very top, right now there's obviously only a small handful of mods that work with Hightail. There's about 85 on CurseForge at the time of recording. And of course, they're mostly simple plugins. We've got things like an admin UI, which makes a admin's job a little bit easier. A customized tree harvester mod where it changes how felling trees works compared to the default, where it now digs up roots and replaces it with the same dirt around it. Lucky mining, which you might have seen come up previously in a mod highlight video, where whenever you're mining ores, it has a chance to spread to stone around it and things like that. But for now, let's start off with something super simple, which is a home mod. This allows players to use slash set home and slash home to teleport back to their home from wherever they are when they're outside exploring. In order to actually download and install mods, all you need to do is hit download in the top right, where you'll get either a jar file or a zip file. I assume when mod rent and platforms like that eventually support Hightail, the steps will be very similar, just in a different place. All you need to do to actually install this mod is head across to your dedicated server. In my case, it's in a folder on my desktop called Hightail. If you haven't got a free dedicated server set up, check the description down below. And inside of here, we've got a mods folder. All you need to do is drag and drop your jar file or zip file without touching it at all into this folder here. And just like that, your mod should successfully be installed. Whenever players join your server, they should have these brand new abilities. Now, differently to how Minecraft works, where there's server-sided and client-sided mods, Hightail works a bit differently in, for example, there's a blog post from November. Scrolling down, you'll see server side first. All modding in Hightail is based on the host of the server or host of the game. You should be able to join any modded Hightail server without downloading external mods or juggling client packs. Use any combination of plugins and asset packs to customize your gameplay experience or rely on a server to offer you an experience. If you're installing one of these mods on your server, players should just be able to join your server without having to worry about mod packs, downloading mods and things like that, which is a pretty cool thing in that there's no difference between server side and client side mods, at least for now. I assume things are going to change in the future when multi-gigabyte complete conversion mod packs become a thing, but for now at least, this super simple way works just fine, and if anything changes, you'll find an updated video here. Now at this point, all we need to do is actually start up our server. So I'll just double click start.bat, and our server starts as usual. Once it starts up, we can head to our client, servers, and join our local server in this case. You should see logging in goes fine, and shortly after, we'll load it in. All we need to do now is use the command slash set home, and we've set home. Now, if we travel somewhere distant in the world and use slash home, we teleport straight back to it, just we're looking up. I assume small bugs like that will be ironed out in the future, but for now at least, you get what it is. If we come over here towards the water, where this fox is, slash home, boop, we vanish, and we're back to where we were a few seconds ago. Pretty cool. This plugin works out of the box without having to download anything. If we disconnect and bring our server to a close with forward slash stop, we can head back to our mods folder and add some more interesting plugins here. You'll also notice that new folders appear next to the jar files, similar to how bucket and spigot servers work, where inside of these, we've got configuration files and of course, any stored data for each plugin. You can very easily clear a plugin's data by just deleting its respective folder, or of course, remove a plugin by deleting the jar or zip file. If we go ahead and download, for example, the admin UI plugin, we can just drag and drop it into our mods folder. The same goes for tree harvester. And of course, if we wish, the lucky mining mod or any other mod that your heart feels like as well. With all of these placed in this folder, we can now start up our server once more. There we go. 
and shortly after, we should be able to head back to Hightail servers, join our server, and once we're back in, you should see that all of the new plugins are taking effect. For example, if we do slash admin, we can pull up the admin UI. Inside of here, we can customize the whitelist to whitelist players. We can see the current player list, kill, TP here, kick players, look at the server backups configuration, as well as whether it's enabled or not. You'll find these were detailed in my server setup guide linked down below. The admin stick, which allows us to do different abilities with the admin stick, manage bans, mutes, and things like that. A pretty useful plugin. Not to mention, we can also check out the server stats, which tells us about our server and what things are going on there. It just seems a little bit confused, at least on my setup. Heading down into a cave, for example, you can see there's some ores nearby. And if we check out that ore spreading mod when we're digging, eventually you might see that an ore spreads to the side, which is working as expected. We didn't have to download anything on the client side. It just works all on the server side, as you'd hope. Now, obviously, that didn't happen all too much. I've dug quite a far way to actually find some ore. Never mind, get lucky with it spreading, but the mod is working exactly as you would have hoped. Pretty cool. Obviously, if things aren't working as you expect, you can head back to your Hightail server mods folder and inside of here, different folders where you can actually configure how plugins work. For example, Lucky Mining. If we open up the Lucky Mining JSON file with any text editor like Notepad, you'll see inside of here the luck start, luck increase, as the more ores you mine, the higher your luck gets, what ores are whitelisted, etc. Inside of here, we can customize things like removing certain ores so they don't spread, change your starting luck so that it happens more often, etc, etc. Customizing mods is as simple as just editing that file, saving, and likely restarting your server. On different mods pages, you'll usually find a configuration file section describing exactly what you can change in order to do what. While Hightail is definitely still in its infancy, there's lots of things to come with more in-depth mods, complete conversions, and things like that. For now, at least, modding is relatively simple, and just adding things to your mods folder and customizing as you see fit works fine. Do keep in mind, though, certain mods do require other mods. Right over here, Tree Harvester wasn't working out of the box for me, and I wasn't sure why. Well, just like Minecraft, some mods actually require other mods. For example, Tree Harvester here mentions that it needs the hybrid mod as well. So keep in mind, if mods aren't working, you might need to download other mods or libraries for things to work properly. Whenever you're booting up your server, I'd highly recommend you keep an eye on your console, or at least scroll up in it, as while the server is starting up, you'll see a bunch of information like Plugin Manager, where right here, it failed to load the Tree Harvester plugin because the dependency Cerulem Hybrid could not be found. We can then either Google the error, or of course update the mod, or check out the mod page where it could detail exactly what's going wrong. In my case, it was a missing mod, which I can just drag from my downloads into the mods folder, just like that. The next time we start up our server, that error should be fixed and things should be working properly. Now, if we reconnect and I'll use slash admin players, select myself and change my game mode to creative, just for a simple way around things. I'll head back to the surface, which was quite a way up. And let's see, time set day. Yeah, that worked as expected. If we get out of creative and head towards a tree for whacking, for example, if we come across to these tall trees here, if we just attack a tree as we usually would, chopping it from halfway up, it'll obviously leave any blocks below that point. And of course, if we've got some roots hiding in the ground, those will remain as well. However, if we hold crouch while we're chopping up a tree, you'll see that when it actually vanishes, the entire tree is removed, and of course the roots as well, which is a feature added by this plugin, not to mention as well, it plants a sapling in its place. But what do we do when it comes to modding a third party platform like, for example, the sponsor of this guide, Apex Hosting. Well, if you got a high sales server running on the cloud, all you need to do is log into your admin panel, wherever it is, and find either a modding section where you're able to import mods straight away, or if that's not available, you can head across to a direct file access tab where after logging in, you're able to customize your server files directly. For example, in here, you can see there's a mods folder where there's a couple of mods installed by default, for which you might be surprised to see that the recommended plugins are already installed there with Apex hosting. For example, these ones here are available on GitHub through use of the release tab here. In order for us to install our own mods, all we need to do is head to the mods folder and drag and drop a mod file from our computer, for example, the home mod into the mods folder. It'll upload and just like that, it's here. I can even open up my local mods folder, select basically everything here and upload 
everything as is to our mods folder here. I just unselected high sale shop as that was there by default. Don't think it matters though. And just like that, all of our mods are now uploaded and ready for use. If we head back, we can then restart our server using the restart button here. And when it boots back up, we'll check the console tab. You should see that the plugins load as expected. So there's tree harvester, admin UI, etc. Pretty cool. Connect to your server and everything should be working as you hope. But yeah, that's the basics for modding. And of course, the world is basically limitless. This was server modding. If you haven't already got yourself a dedicated server set up, check the description down below for a free guide on how to host your own, as well as Apex Hosting, the sponsor of this video. Thank you once more for that. A huge thanks for watching this video all the way through. Do stay subscribed if you'd like to see more Hightail content. Thank you all for watching. Mine has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.